after finishing to crimp your cat 6 cable now you can use it and enjoy the oohs and ahs Welcome guys, this is Joatek Electrical Contractors Limited where we learn through practicals. In our today's video, I want to show you how to crimp a CAT6 cable. Okay, I want to show you how to crimp a CAT6 cable. Um, you are going to be having a crimping tool like this one and uh you're also supposed to have uh rj connector this is rj connector so with this one and this one you can crimp a card six cable a card six cable can be crimped uh to do what you can be either you are crimping to use the cable which is ethernet cable with an ip camera all uh where you can uh use uh the piece of cable whereby you're supposed to crimp both sides and that cable that piece of cable you can use uh to bring all to supply all uh to feed um uh something like dvr or NVR with internet okay you can also crimp that keyboard for what else uh, either uh, you are doing um, what we call um, networking you can be using a desktop switch like this one or uh, either you are clipping uh, to use the router okay or something like cable whereby you crimp the cable from the desktop switch to the router or from the router yeah or from the router to a desktop or a laptop okay so i'm going to show you how to crimp this rj connector or i'm going to show you how to crimp cat 6 using this rj five connector so come here with me uh i show you how to crimp it so first thing first uh our cable is like this this is cat six ethernet cable you can use uh, a stripping knife but allow me to use side cutter So here you go. You can slip up to you can slip your cut six up to that level. Okay. You can use a stripping knife. This clipping tool comes with a stripping knife eh? to cut the cable around and evenly. So our cut six cable, four wires, twisted, uh, four wires, but a pair of four wires twisted. Eh? So this is two, this is two, this is two, this is two. And uh, we normally start with uh, this order. And uh, this order is like, we start with, uh, we start with orange white yeah this is the orange white and then orange you must straighten your keyboards so you start with orange white orange then after that you go to the next color code which is 
green white okay green white straighten straighten them then from green white you go to brew okay you go to brew this is brew yeah and you make sure you arrange them together and in order from orange white orange green white brew and then brew white follows and uh, from brew white you go to green okay this is green then from green you go to brown white this is brown white then from brown white you go to brown make sure you have straightened your cables and you have arranged them in order only to remove this and we have this boot and this boot is supposed to be uh below your connector so allow me to put this boot first and then we can uh, rearrange our cable so there you go so the boot is in and then we go back here again and rearrange our wires yeah we have said we have to start with orange white orange green blue blue white yes blue white then green brown white and brown and yeah, make sure you straighten them well yeah straighten them well like that like that before you make a cut on them so we confirm again blue white that is uh, we start with the orange white orange green white blue blue white green brown white and brown so from there i'll measure my rj connector like this so that my sheet will go inside the rj 45 connector i don't want to have a station whereby uh, my rj connectors all a station whereby my my cables will be outside the rj connector so i have to measure them properly like this and then i know where to make a cut on them so i already know so allow me to make a cut and before i even make the cut i have to confirm again so there we go and we make a cut you can make a cut using a clipping tool but allow me to use my cutter so for me to crimp the rj45 connector i'm going to put it like this not like this but i'm going to put it like this i'm assuming this is the front or this is back and this is the front or this is the face and this is the back so we put like this this is the, the face should face upward like that and then confirm our wires again mm -hmm. and then we can proceed and put them like that i believe they are in then you can push your cut six cable inside you see what i mean this sheet is supposed to be inside the rj45 connector you're not supposed to be having cables outside okay so you have to push them until you see them on the other side of the connector as you can see i see my cables from this end that means my cables has leached the end of the connector but uh, i have to confirm each color i have to confirm each cable and its color before i do the clipping so to me 
I'm good to go. So this is what I mean. If you look here, you'll be able to see our keyboards arranged properly from the orange white, orange, then green white, blue, blue white, green, brown white, and brown. Okay. From here, after confirming your keyboard color code is uh, arranged properly and your keyboards uh, you can see them from uh, upward then you take your clipping tool and crimp them so this is my cut six and uh, it has which is indicated uh, AP so I'll insert my RJ connector there and then I will place second and that time I'm going to go so you can confirm again if your keyboard is properly clipped up one to cover your RJ45 connector and you'll have something like this smart job after finishing to crimp your cat 6 cable now you can use it and enjoy the o's and r's Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.